Can you catch one of the world's fastest insects with nothing more than an empty pill bottle? Tiger beetles are fast. The fastest species is the Australian tiger beetle, and it can run five and a half miles per hour. Now that sounds really slow. That's how fast humans jog. But for an insect that's only about this big, it is running 120 times its own body length in a second. If we could run that fast, relatively speaking, we'd be running four or even 500 miles per hour. Now, most tiger beetle species aren't quite that fast. They're more around half that speed, but that's still super fast. In fact, tiger beetles are so fast that while they have good vision, their eyes can't capture enough light to form a clear picture of the prey that they're chasing. To solve this problem, they'll actually run in little spurts and reorient themselves each time they stop to make sure they're on the right track. And then they also hold their antenna out in front of them to check for obstacles. Some researchers at Cornell did a really interesting experiment. They created a track and put a little hurdle in the middle. They took one group of tiger beetles and let them run across the track normally. When their antenna brushed the hurdle, they went right up on top. Another group of tiger beetles had their antenna removed and they ran smack dab into the hurdle. Then they took a third group and they left their antenna on but painted over their eyes so they were blind and found that they did not run into the hurdle any more than the first group. So since tiger beetles are so fast, it's safe to assume that they're kind of tricky to catch. Shortly after my wife and I were married, we were on a camping trip and we stopped at a river and along the riverbank there were tiger beetles. So I had my bug collecting stuff with me. I pull up my net and I started running up and down that bank, swinging my net like a madman trying to catch those tiger beetles. I'm pretty sure she felt secondhand embarrassment for me, but I did catch a few tiger beetles. Now fast forward a few years and we're on a nature walk together. There were tiger beetles along the trail, but I didn't have my net. All I had were a few empty pill bottles. So I lamented to my wife that it was too bad I didn't have my net, I couldn't catch the tiger beetles. And she's like, give me one of those pill bottles. It can't be that hard to catch one. I was like, no, I really don't think you're gonna catch one, they're fast. And she said, what are you gonna give me if I do catch one? And we agreed that if she were to catch a tiger beetle with nothing more than a pill bottle, I'll get her a nice new bottle of perfume. So she took that pill bottle and within about a minute had caught a tiger beetle. I was a bit flabbergasted because every other time I caught them, they'd been sore to catch and she just kind of casually walked up to one, nice and slowly and quiet, and put the bottle over the top of it and caught a tiger beetle. So while I'm admiring this first tiger beetle that she caught, she catches a second one. Needless to say, she got that bottle of perfume. Now, my wife isn't into insects like I am. She'll come collecting with me, but bugs aren't her favorite thing. But instead of worrying about whether or not she had a net, she just grabbed that pill bottle, went out there, and caught some awesome tiger beetles. In the words of Dr. C.V. Riley in his 1892 book about insect collecting, the greatest requisites in collecting are a pair of sharp eyes and ready hands with coolness and self-possession.